watching Toys R Us TV. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Hi, this is Bree. And this is Nikki. And, and we're, we're the Bella, Bella Twins. Twins. And you're watching Toys R Us TV. Mwah. Hey, welcome to Comic-Con 2017. My name is Butch Hartman. I'm the exec producer creator of the Fairly Odd Parents, Danny Phantom, Tough Puppy, and the brand new show Bunsen is a Beast on Nickelodeon. And guess what? I am here at the Nickelodeon Experience booth here at Comic-Con 2017. It's awesome. I'm surrounded by superheroes. You guys want to see this booth? Come check it out. If you look behind me right there, the pineapple is 23 feet tall. You walk in there, and you can become one of the SpongeBob characters. You become Patrick, SpongeBob, Mr. Krabs, Sandy Cheeks, any of them. Speaking of SpongeBob, right over here is Patrick Starr and SpongeBob himself. Standing right here. Right here is the Hey Arnold shrine that Helga built in her room. She built it because she loves Arnold. So this is the watermelon piece of paper jammed together, socks, the whole deal, and the, of course the creepy candles all in Helga's room. This is a lifelike shrine from Helga's room that kids can take a photo in front of, and uh, you guys can be in love with Hey Arnold too. Now this is cool right here. You can take a picture in front of the Hey Arnold gang. They're right here in, uh, in I think they're life size actually. This is Arnold, this is Gerald, and Helga, and some pigeons in the city. And you can sit right by this uh, very realistic fire hydrant, of course. And uh, you can put out a fire or get your photo taken right here. I can put Bunsen right there, get a photo taken. It's really, really cool. All these people are at these kiosks over there. It's kind of like going to the bank, or it's like going to a movie theater. You can punch in your favorite character, uh, Nickelodeon character and make your own t-shirt right there. I'm here, Bunsen's here, Toys R Us is here, it's really exciting. And you better get here quick because the place is filling up as you can see. The first time ever we are launching an entirely new product line that celebrates these amazing women. They are athletes, fashionistas entertainers, and more importantly, they're role models for all of you in the room and around the world. You know, growing up, I always wanted my own WB action figure, but never in a million, trillion years would I think I would have a Barbie. That's me as a WB superstar. Every little girl, even boys, played with Barbie growing up. So now that I am a Sasha Banks WB superstar, Barbie, it's um, it's mind blowing. I can't. This is this is huge. I could be a WWE superstar, and I could be strong just like these women. And I can. Ju it's just represents strength. And I feel like these little girls are truly gonna get that from this. Well, and I think too, as a mother, um, and now and having a daughter, for me to have these dolls that do stand for confidence and for empowerment, it's like the perfect toy you want your daughter to have. And you want your daughter to have role models and. Be able to look and go, this is Brie Bella. I know what she stands for. I know what she's done. And I want to be just like her. And you have that doll to play with. And yeah. I think that's so important. It gives me goosebumps when yeah. I think about that. And now having a doll, and she even has my beauty mark. I mean, I feel like she looks really looks like me. It's crazy. Little girls will be going into Toys R Us with their dads, and I'm on the shelf knowing that I make an impact in their lives as a positive role model as an athlete. It's, doesn't get any better than that. For Mattel to want to make these dolls is um, just shows how far we've all come in women in sports, and it's an exciting time to be standing right here in San Diego Comic Con with my own doll is just oh, beyond a dream come true. This is this year's Comic Con exclusive, and I'm sure if I ask any of you, you'll know immediately what these dolls are from. WrestleMania 32, the iconic match. Woo! And if you guys get close, and I welcome you to come to the booth, you will see every detail, um, almost like real life what they wore in their outfits, because we know that authenticity is really important, and we really want to celebrate the amazing part of what these women are doing. When I was little, um, my dad spoiled me and my little brother rotten, so we'd go to Toys R Us all the time, and he'd say, you know, Get whatever you want. And I, you know, had all the Barbie dolls, the Barbie Corvette, the Barbie Jeep, the Barbie house, the kitchen, all of it. So to think, you know, I don't want to say my age, but 20 years later, you know, now 
little girls will be going into Toys R Us with their dads and I'm on the shelf knowing that I make a, an impact in their lives as a positive role model as an athlete is doesn't get any better than that. Jeffrey and I have shared very intimate hugs. Um, he's a little taller than I am, so it's probably the tallest hug I've ever done in my life. But it was a very memorable one. I've had a few action figures now, but this one kind of like takes the cake. Exclusively at Toys R Us. These are childhood dolls that little girls and you know moms could buy for their little girls that they're always going to remember. Like coming down to the Christmas tree on Christmas Day and just like, oh, I hope I get, you know, this so-and-so doll. And, you know, Toys R Us aisle is full of WWE and Bailey dolls, and I like it. I remember going to Toys R Us as a kid all the time and asked my mom, hey, can I buy that? Can I get that? Um, so it's cool knowing that kids are doing the same thing. It's, um, it's incredible. It, it, it's really a surreal. Um, it doesn't even feel real. And it's so cool who I'm doing it with. I get to do it with my Four Horsewomen and the Bella Twins. And um, this is incredible. Incredible. Twenty-one hours of labor. And I did eight and a half naturally. And then I was like, hell no. <laughs> Marie, yeah. beware, members in your audience may be under the oh, age yeah, of 18. Right. It's do, very do, do people know? <laughs> Do people know why it took you so long to yeah. have the baby? So, Birdie had a 14 inch head. <laughs> and she was Thank like, you, Daniel Bryan. <laughs> As we all can tell, Birdie is her daddy's mini me. She came out and I was like, oh my gosh, she's really white. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> she came in the gym and the hospital room, like, yes, yes, yes. No, no. <laughs> And, um, but I felt like I was pregnant for years. It was insane. And, um, but I will say, like, I ended up in an emergency C-section, which was a bummer. But, um, at least Birdie came out safe, and that's all that mattered to me. Comic-Con. You guys are here and you're checking out the Hot Wheels AI Mario Kart Special Edition. And as you can see here, it's this awesome smart track with these authentic Mario Kart cars. You guys are seeing here, there's uh, Mario, there's Yoshi, and there's Luigi on this amazing mushroom-shaped Nintendo track. There's actually three different modes that kids have been playing with the track. It's basically uh, RC mode, which is the most difficult. There's practice mode, which uh, the AI helps it actually stay on the track. And then there's actually championship mode, where all the uh, competitors can play against each other. This track is awesome because for the very first time, you can play real Mario Kart with real cars on track. And we have all the authentic Mario Kart sounds. So all the whoopies. Um, and all the fun sounds that the characters have from the Mario Kart game. We also have authentic Mario Kart hazards like banana peels and turtle shells, and it's just a ton of fun. There's 26 pieces of track, and you can reconfigure this track in more than 20 different ways. So it's awesome. Kids have been playing it all day and having a ton of fun, and the Mario Kart uh, starter Set AI is actually available only at Tier U starting in October and the Luigi, which is part of the expansion pack, is also only available at Tier U in the fall. We're here at the Radio Flyer booth in the Lucasfilms Pavilion. We're here with the Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder, exclusively available at Toys R Us. This is the first battery operated ride-on Land Speeder. It's one of the hottest toys featured at Comic-Con. It's the talk of the show. 12 volt battery, goes two speeds, two and a half or five miles per hour. As you can see, it's two-seater, so two kids can enjoy the fun. And it makes real movie sounds as well on the dashboard. There's some buttons. Kids love how authentic it is. Pretty much an exact replica of Luke's actual land speeder from A New Hope. I'm going to introduce to you Julian Montoya, SVP uh, at Warner Brothers, and he's going to tell you a little bit about our, our secret unveil here. So thank you all for coming. Um, we are, thank you to Mattel for the continued partnership. I know you guys are all excited about Justice League. We're thrilled.
Grilled Mattel is just is so is just as excited as we are. And they partnered, partnered with us to bring you for the first time in public the new upgraded Batmobile from the Justice League movie. There's a lot of great stuff to see on the floor, and you guys are anxious to see it. So without further ado, the Justice League Batmobile. So hi everybody, we are at Comic-Con, live from the Mattel booth. This is our ultimate Justice League Batmobile. This is our RC vehicle that's larger than life. Uh, it connects to my phone through Wi-Fi signal, and then I'll be able to drive it through the dedica dedicated app that comes with it. It has a ton of amazing features. It's a fully you know, RC vehicle, so you can turn your wheels and the guns are following the same movement. You can actually uh, also make uh, the guns rotate the smoke that actually comes out of it. It also has hydraulics so you can elevate the vehicle and it has a huge cannon. And it comes with this exclusive figure which has an extra articulation so Batman actually steers the wheel. If you just clip his hand to the steering wheel, his arm will move. So he looks like he's alive. I am WWE Superstar Bailey and you are watching Toys R Us TV. Hi guys, it's Jordan, Alyssa, and April from Animal Adventure Park. We're very excited to be partnering with Toys R Us and we feel like it's a perfect fit, furthering our message of conservation. This is a video feed that's been captivating people for weeks, showing it late at night, early in the morning, really at all hours. Watch the webcam here, you'll see your tongue will stick out. Hi baby. <laughs> I have known April since the day she arrived in September of 2015 and have worked with her almost every day since then. Now we're just about inseparable. I usually come say hi. This is the side she gets a little bit sensitive on, so, so she'll do that. <laughs> Giraffes have a long gestation period, so it's 15 months plus or minus 60 days. Everybody, are you watching? It's happening! It's time to have a baby! Thus far, the calf has been very inquisitive, very outgoing, and really doesn't mind keeping some distance from mom. Our baby giraffe is my first baby giraffe, and I'm so excited to be working with him and taking these first steps right along with him.
Okay, guys, time to come inside. These aren't the kids you're looking for. <laughs> All right. These aren't the kids I'm looking for. Ten more minutes. and part of the proceeds will go to Make-A-Wish. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. We've got a much more modern look and feel to our experience. We're occupying the entire real estate of the screen. We're building out new navigation capabilities and new search capabilities that are gonna make it much easier to find product. When you get down to those category pages, we're gonna see richer images, larger images, that are gonna make you a much more compelling experience. Checkout is amazing. We're talking from five clicks down to two. Registry, we've got a whole new experience going on here. We've got the dashboard, which is showing greater visibility into what's being purchased off the registry. One of the focuses of this website is really bridging the digital experience with the store experience. We want this to be a vehicle by which we can bring our customers back to our stores. No parent wants to have to make the decision of whether they're gonna put food on the table or provide a clean diaper for their baby. For that reason and so many others, Babies R Us is partnering with Huggies in their No Baby Unhugged campaign. From now through the end of September, whenever you purchase a value box of Huggies or add it to a registry, a day's worth of diapers will be given to a family in need. We are aiming to raise 1.5 million diapers, so get out there and buy those diapers. If you're not exactly in the market for diapers, but still wanna do something to help, you can donate your time at a local diaper bank near you, or you can start your own community diaper drive to help families in your town. Giraffes have been trending worldwide lately, thanks to this pressing question. When giraffes go to work, should they wear a tie at the top or bottom of their necks. At the bottom. The top. The bottom. Bottom. Who better to settle this debate than the most famous giraffe in the world? Jeffrey from Toys R Us. Jeffrey arrived bright and early at the Toys R Us in Totowa, New Jersey with a pep in his step. But after a look in the mirror, even Jeffrey wasn't sure which tie looked better. So we asked the people who know Jeffrey best. Toys R Us customers and team members. I like at the bottom. It looks more professional like that. The one at the bottom. The bottom. I like the top of the neck, it's more formal. I can get this one, the bottom one. I would keep it right here, personally. I like it right here, in the middle. The middle. He shouldn't be wearing a tie today anyway, it's Friday. But I think it looks more natural on his lower neck. That person's up here, it looks like it's strangling him. On top it looks like it's choking him. And down here it looks more proportioned to his body. What do you think? Bottom, right? Yeah, it says bottom. In a landslide, the necktie at the bottom was the clear winner. We should mention that Jeffrey doesn't mind wearing a formal bow tie on those special occasions either. Hi, moms and dads. I'm Toys R Us president of play, Ariana Gentry, reporting for Disney Family and I'm here on the red carpet for the premiere of Cars 3. Today, I'm going to play trivia with the stars, help design a Cars 3 mural, and then end the evening in Cars Land. Would you like to play a game of Cars trivia? What am I gonna say no to you? Of course. What's Lightning McQueen's catchphrase? Ka-chow. 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 Uh, zoom, zoom. <laughs> it's actually ka-chow, but that's okay. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> I was speaking Italian. 
What is the town where Lightning McQueen ends up in the first movie? Radiator Springs. Yes. Yeah. Radiator Springs. In Radiator the first movie. Springs. Yay, yeah, good job. Thank you. I'm in the movie. <laughs> what number is Lightning McQueen? Lightning McQueen is number 95. Oh, that's easy, 95. 95. 95. It is the year that Toy Story came out, which was Pixar's first movie, 1995. What is Mater's hidden secret driving talent? He can drive backwards really, really fast. He can drive backwards. He's a world's best backward driver. Can you give us your best to get her done? Get her done. This is a craft that parents can do with their kids. Do you mind adding a piece to my Cars 3 mural? Oh, I would love to. I'm gonna stick it right here. Would you like to pose with me? In yes, please. Now let's see what's going on inside Cars Land for the world premiere after party. Come on, let's go. <laughs> on the red carpet. The movie was awesome and Cars Land is a blast. Parents, be sure to take your kids to see Cars 3 in theaters June 16th in 3D. And visit Toys R Us, your destination for Cars 3 toys. Disney Pixar's Cars 3 in 3D this summer. April the Giraffe. 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 Yes. Our favorite giraffe, April. <laughs> the zoo has partnered with Toys R Us for the live giraffe camp. Looks like April's calf will be a Toys R Us kid. One day you notice this Toys R Us logo pops up and everyone's <laughs> like, what the heck? This is a video feed that's been captivating people for weeks, showing it late at night, early in the morning, really at all hours. Five million people were checking in on the pregnancy of April. Warning, April the giraffe finally gave birth on Saturday. For the longest time, this feed was sponsored by Toys R Us. After the calf came into the picture, it's now sponsored by Babies R Us. It went from Toys R Us sponsoring it to... Babies R Us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. over obviously now but she's born How about that two months later happened hi everyone this is Taylor at babies are us we are here talking today about sun safety for your little one and of course you always want to start out with sunscreen pack one and pack another one just in case and you can never go wrong with bug spray since itchy owies are no fun on vacation. So one thing that I think is awesome and not only awesome, but super adorable are these bathing suits UV protected. So you have an additional layer of sun protection past that sunscreen. And of course, if you're going out into the sun, make sure your little one has a hat. This shark one is so cute or sunglasses if your little one enjoys having their sunglasses on. I know I was not one of those kids, but there are definitely kids out there who love their sunnies. Um, and of course, we wanna always jazz up the outfit. Here's a cute little bag that they can throw their own towel in or any snacks that they wanna bring to the beach with them. Thanks for joining us today, and you can find any of these products on babiesrus.com or at your local Babies R Us store. Just a few miles north of the city that never sleeps is a Toys R Us store that never stops working and a team member who never stops trying. Second to last aisle, we got it. Follow me. Meet Shane. Is the rescue bots for you? He's only been with the company for two oh. years, but you'll find him just about everywhere in the store. So what are you doing now? Anything good or just relax? I'm just taking care of my girls. I hear you. Helping you customers. Help? Can I help you find anything? I can. I give you Looking up now. inventory. 490-086. And of course, his contagious sense of humor. I feel like I'm doing the moonwalk now. Love it. Things didn't always come easy for Shane. Six years ago, um, I was in an accident, and my father did pass away. 
And the one thing that my father said, told me was to always strive to do your best and be honest. I believe that if you're honest with yourself, you'll always be successful in life. And that's what I try to do. And boy, has Shane been successful. One of his areas of expertise, getting customers to sign up for the Toys R Us credit card. If you sign up for the Toys R Us credit card, you can get 15% off today. He's one of the best in the region. Once you ring up the customer, you don't want to ask right away. Because the minute you say credit, they don't want it. Right off the bat, credit card, no. So one, one of the things that I always do is I ring up the customer first. I let them know what their, their total is. And once I show them the total, you are at 541 with tax and what their savings will be. I literally have a calculator back there. It would literally be like $65 back in your pocket. And they can physically see what they're saving. That's what helps. High five. Thank you. Thank you. There you go, buddy. I get a lot more yeses than I get no's. And it's not because of the fact that I'm trying to sell you a car and brainwash you and getting the, but I'm excited about the credit. And when you're excited and your energy gets passed on to others, um, they usually say yes. And when you know the facts of the card, knowing that you get your discounts, knowing that, that there's no annual fees, knowing that there's 10% off every Thursday, knowing that you get double the rewards, people want to do it. Hey Suda. Hey Shane. How are you? Good. So when I first started here, I, I met Suda. She just inspired me. It's an unbelievable the way she gets people to say yes. And this was before I was registered trained. Um, I used to just wheel up behind her, and I know it might have creeped her out a little bit, like, what is this guy doing here wheeling up behind me? But I, I, would, I would learn how she got her yeses. She's the type that would just make you burst out laughing. And then while you're in the middle of laughing, she's also trying to help you save a discount. And, and, and that's where it all begins. Right now, Keith, we have two credits, and it took about, since the store's been open, about 45 minutes. You lost your touch? I, not yet. and welcome to our Be Prepared-ish launch event. And we don't think anybody else is really highlighting the importance of the reality of parenting, and that's what we want to do. We want to celebrate the messiness and celebrate all that is not just good and bad and ugly, but all of it together. Looking for those ways to do it a little bit better, be a little bit more prepared-ish, you know, figure, right. their, figure them out a little right. bit easier. Or at least to admit to having made all the same mistakes that I'm <laughs> currently making. We love the whole concept of be prepared-ish. We thought it was absolutely hilarious and basically summed up all of our life as yeah. parents because you're never prepared as a parent. Doesn't matter how much people tell you, you're gonna be prepared and you can Especially try to plan. Especially that first kid. Especially that first kid. Completely oh. winging the first like six months. Yes. Showing how Babies Are Us can help you be prepared-ish. This is bad! This is bad! The water temperature is not exactly what I had requested from the teams. I got my super soaker, and I'm not going down without a fight. <laughs> you want to get me wet, you're going to take some shots. At any time like this, there's anxiety, but I'm going to overcome it and get in that dunk tank. Everyone is so excited and that just makes me so happy and they love the products. I shop Babies R Us for all my grandbabies. Uh, I've got four. Uh, I'm actually Jessica's mom. Hi, Kathy. Uh, yeah, so I just love you guys and we're such a great partners with you guys. I just think it's great. 
and I love Jeffrey. I carry him with us. I actually train the BRUs. There's usually five or six stores that they have already pre-picked that we go into and we do it on a Sunday and it's for two hours and so much fun and we do play games with them. We teach them about the products, especially the formulas and things that they need to know facts about. Um, and it's just great and they love it. They, they, this is the best training, it's so much fun. So we're really happy that they really love it. Hey guys, Kerry Donovan here. We are finding out our team members' mental age today based on toys that they choose from Toys R Us on a BuzzFeed quiz. And as you guys know, that's 100% accurate. Let's go. So the first is choose a board game. Hungry Hungry Hippos. Operation. A Monopoly. Monopoly. Choose a board game, uh, guess who? Monopoly. Choose a doll. Elsa. Captain America. Barbie. Maui. We have to go with Captain America. Chewbacca. Choose some Legos. Ooh, Batman movie Arkham Asylum. Batman. Airport set. The police station. Police station. Amusement park. Choose some arts and crafts. I don't really have an artsy side. Super sand set. Tattoo kit. Play-Doh. 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 We'll go with Play-Doh. Choose an outdoor toy. Definitely the trampoline. Trampoline. The trampoline always wins. Trampoline. Trampoline. Easy. Ooh. Slide. I choose a stuffed animal. Gotta go with the bear. Can't go wrong with a little panda. A panda. Bear. I think I chose the same one. Let's do a monkey. I'm gonna go with this tiger. Choose a gadget. Batman walkie-talkies. Walkie-talkies were always my favorite. The robot. 3D printer. Karaoke set. Cupcake maker. Your mental age is five. <laughs> Your mental age is 80. <laughs> Your mental age is 25. Your mental age is 25. You're young and ambitious. Your mental age is 10. You act quite childish sometimes, but that's just because you enjoy having fun. Your mental age is five. You're all about having fun and don't often stick to the rules. I think that's pretty spot on. Your taste is timeless and you prefer to spend your Friday nights curled up on the sofa with a good film. Correct. It's hard, it's frustrating, it's crazy, it's over in the blink of an eye, it's not over soon enough. Excitement, panic. Awesome. Anxiety. And wonderful at the same time, but mostly really terrifying. Tiring. Tiring. <laughs> and you can go from six of those different emotional mindsets within half a day. The steps we took to prepare were really just ask as many questions as we could of people who knew a lot more than us. And for where we were at in life, that was pretty much everybody. The notion and the arrival of a kid became all-encompassing. You have to do this at this time and this at this time. I mean, it sent me into a tailspin. Because no matter what you read, you always feel like there's something else you could keep doing. I continually had my nails done. I wanted everything to be perfect. All his clothes were set out. We did start to accumulate so much stuff that we didn't know we needed. I had the crib, I had the bassinet by my bed, I, you know, I had the pram set up, everything. We were just handed a newborn and told to go home with it and take care of it. And I had a little bit of a traumatic delivery. So all those wonderful plans about um, how this was going to be and, you know, you they just went away. She had to sleep in a car seat beside the bed because we didn't have a bed. We didn't, we didn't have anything. You just reevaluate this new normal and it gets real practical. I remember vividly the moment where we put Ileana in the car and buckled her up and then went home and it was like, whoa, like the nursery's not here anymore and the nurses aren't around anymore. And you're thinking like, do I have any idea what I'm doing? She would be in my lap in a baby Bjorn, sound asleep, and she would poop, and then it would be on me and her and the Bjorn, and I'm on an airplane, and everyone could smell it. She like just projectile vomit all, and I'm like, what do I do? I mean, you take him to church, and people are looking at him, and everything's leaking out the side of their sleeper. Oh dear. She was the antithesis of what babies are supposed to be, right? Everyone tells you, oh, your kid's not sleeping. Put him in the car. Not our kid. He would be out of the car seat opening a roasted chicken. Unless you were going 90 and not stopping, would like scream bloody murder. 
And you do worry. You do worry about the screaming hissy fit in the supermarket. You feel like as a new parent, you have to have everything, at least to a certain level, buttoned up. Lots and lots of social media about always picturing the perfect moments. It's really hard to see other people look like they've got it all together. They're making these organic meals when you're picking up french fries off your minivan floor. You'll see a commercial on TV or you'll see a show and once you've kind of gone through it, you're just rolling your eyes like, no, like that's not, that's not the way this works. Not only is, is everything not going to be perfect, but things can be extremely challenging and, and you're going to receive major tests, you know, here and there as a parent. And there's a ton of times when I was like, oh. I walk away and went, that was, you know, that was horrible. You handled that terrible. You know, that ideal starts getting chipped away or eroded a little bit. And what you learn in that is that that's okay. You're going to be really, really frustrated and sometimes really, really sad. But that's normal. You know, don't get too wound up. They're, you know, we used to joke around and say, babies bounce, and they do. It's going to go sideways. So be okay with plan B. We inherently find a lot of joy and a lot of fun and a lot of experience in the mess. But if you just spend time with them and interact with them and let them be who they are, it'll all turn out right. The idea that I had about what kind of mom I was going to be is not at all what parenting is like. Parenting is like you get what you're given, who is this kid? and you try to help them be the best version of themselves they can be. You're watching Toys R Us TV. 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 Yes, yes, yes.